Hey guys and welcome to another week of outfits video. Today is actually Thursday. Um, I had a really good week so far and so I thought that I would go ahead and tape Thursday through Sunday's outfits. Earlier in the week I went to go see Hamilton with Zach. I loved getting dressed up for that event and it was really fun to go to, you know, just a really like beautiful Broadway play that everyone's been raving about. So here seeing it in Nashville was just so good. And then the next night I had a birthday party with my friend. Um, it was her birthday and we went out for drinks with a bunch of people. So that was really fun and I got to dress up then as well, a little bit different style than the night before. So for today, I'm just having more of a chill day, trying to get lots of like errands accomplished. And one thing that Zach and I have been doing recently, by the way, is going out to get coffee just every single morning. And that has helped us a lot to just have a boost in the morning and to like make our day more productive, to get ready for the day earlier and that type of thing. So um, this is what I'm wearing for today. This is a sweater by Koss. I'll show you guys the details of the shoulders because it's very unique and it's the reason why I decided to keep it when it arrived. Then for the pants, I'm wearing some linen trousers I will link you guys to some similar because I've had these for years, along with the coat I've had for years. Um, the scarf is going on its second year. <laughs> so I'll link you guys to lots of similar options down below. And then of course I'm gonna just wear my everyday test bag. Um, this is something that matches the coat and the scarf, and it still matches a lot of my gold jewelry, and it just ties the whole outfit together. That's why I end up wearing this almost every single day. Yeah, that was the perfect outfit for just trying to run around town. I did end up wearing some really chic shoes, by the way. I love these things so much. They are mango boots and just the heel was just so dramatic that when I posted about them on my Instagram, like some people would write me and they were like, I literally gasped when I saw these. <laughs> and I just loved that so much because they are dramatic. Um, one person said that they're kind of like Mary Poppins shoes, which I love that totally is. I could definitely be more like Mary Poppins in my day, to be honest. I could definitely use some of that help. And a purse that just fits anything in it, like that would be a miracle. Um, anyways, that is Thursday's outfit and I will see you guys tomorrow. Happy Friday. Today is around like a high of 35. So it's really cold for this area, but it still is much more of a mild winter than a lot of other people have to experience. Um, but it does feel very chilly compared to what we're used to. So I want to sort of bundle up a bit more today. I'm wearing an extra thick sweater. Uh, this is premium cashmere from Everlane in the color Heathered Chai. And it has been on repeat quite a bit this season in my outfits. I just think it matches a lot of different things. And today I just want to pair it with black. Uh, so these are Jessie Cam Rangers. I've had them since 2017, same pair, and they're still fitting pretty good, um, and they haven't faded a lot. They've kept their structure a lot more than a typical pant would um, with this many wears. They definitely are more of a luxury price tag, uh, but black jeans would work just as well with this outfit. And then for shoes, I'm going with the Boss Boot. They add just a little bit of an edge, but they're very comfortable and walkable. They're one of the most comfortable and walkable shoes that I own, um, especially like where boots are concerned. So on top, because it is so cold and because I need to run to the tailor this afternoon, I want to put on a warm coat. So the coat that I want to wear today is my Everlane Rewool overcoat. Um, I really like this a lot. I have it in two colors and no doubt you will have seen it on this channel this season. I think that it goes with most things and I love the color combination that's coming out of this outfit. So let me show you real quick on my purse. So this is the Sept bag from Polen. They sent it to me and I've been finding actually quite a lot of different outfits to wear with it, which is surprising because usually black bags are, you know, my knee jerk, like what I want to go toward. But I have been finding a lot of outfits that this pairs well with. So the color combination is, I think, the most interesting about interesting thing about this outfit, where this is the most vivid color, um, but there's a hint of it in the shirt. And then everything else is muted. So that's how I play with neutrals. They never can be boring because there's always something that is more vivid than the other pieces. And 
then at the same time, I do think that neutrals can make an outfit look more elegant and more, you know, upscale in essence. So I love this purse too because it matches the gold jewelry. So I always am thinking toward that when I'm looking for a bag. And I just love bags that are going to match most outfits. So wanted to mention that, but that is Friday's outfit. And yeah, it's just, um, I need to run to the tailor. That's like the biggest thing about today that I have to do. Um, just because I need to bring one pair of pants up a little bit uh, with the hem. But yeah, that's about it and I'll see you tomorrow. Today is Saturday and it's just kind of a noisy day in the city. There's lots of, you know, traffic and people just walking by, walking their dogs. Um, and I am having just a really chill day. Zach and I went to not only get coffee, but also donuts today. And that was just really fun. But also it's been just such a like melancholy day. I don't know if that really makes sense, but like, it's just been so low key and I ended up drawing a little bit and I haven't done that in forever. And I'm just like leaning deep into my Enneagram 4 wing <laughs> 3 today. And it's just like, I don't know, I just feel all the feelings today. So kind of coming through in my outfit a little bit today. This is a cozy, incredibly soft and warm um, acne sweater. And underneath that, I just have a micro rib turtleneck on. Um, just to sort of layer for that. And then also I've got most of my hair tucked in. I decided to roll this down just a little bit for comfort and also so that it's not like right up on my hair. Ended up wearing a little beanie. Well, this is actually a beret today uh, that I got last year and I just found so many different ways to wear it based on my outfit and how I'm feeling that day. But I love it because it doesn't look too much like a beret. You know how some berets can be just like so you know, kind of pretentious. <laughs> but this one's like fun and I just love the design of it. It's very, um, I think that it lays just really beautifully. And for bottoms, I'm just wearing some silk pants that are very comfortable and cozy. They have an elastic waistband and they show through on this vent of the sweater really beautifully. And right where the pants end, my shoes begin. So these again are those beautiful mango uh, heeled boots that I've been wearing on repeat quite a bit. Again, they just match so many different outfits and I feel like they give such an elegant and chic attitude to this outfit. Um, I tried sneakers at first and these just make me look a little bit more like taller and slimmer with something that's this oversized and cozy. So also forgot that my bag that I want to use with this outfit um, is small and it matches the shoes perfectly. So this is the Pullen number six. And altogether, I feel like this is the perfect like Saturday cozy outfit, but yet so chic. And I'm also like alternating colors from like hat to sweater to pants to boots and then the bag repeats on the boots. So altogether, I love the look of this. Uh, it feels just absolutely wonderful. And today, other than just like being cozy at home, I want to be able to go out and go to my salt float therapy session. That has been so healing, by the way. Um, if any of you guys deal with like any sorts of issues for like, I've got PCOS, so it, it's helped me a lot with that. So that's why I've been going regularly. Um, great for skin and just feeling calm too. So gonna go do that later and I guess I will see you guys tomorrow. And for Sunday, uh, today has been really cold this morning. It's warming up a little bit with the sunshine but I definitely wanted to wear layers and be warm. So this was a sweater dress and I wanted to wear that with just some tights underneath. And then I decided that it was like way too short. So I ended up putting on some silk pants with that. And I really liked the vibe of it. It was one of those outfits that sort of just came together as I put on pieces and just had its own unique look. So these are pants that are, um, they're Florence's. So they have like a, a really wide leg that's very casual and comfortable. And I just liked the flow of it, even though I'm definitely a proponent for tucking in your top and having high-waisted pants and all of that. What's kind of different about this outfit is that I'm having a really low waist here, right? And like as low as you can go. But it works because this is all like sort of one width and it goes all the way down and is one color. So that's sort of my thinking there. Uh, for shoes, I'm going to wear my boss boots today. They're easy to walk in. I went to church this morning, I got coffee, and so this, this is just like, 
I don't know how to describe it. I guess it would just be very soft and cozy and warm and comfortable. So then for jewelry, I've just got a few of my longer necklaces. I like to do that for turtlenecks that, you know, this has a lot going on already. So having a little bit of length there makes sense. Um, and then just one shorter one up top. For outerwear, I'm wearing this Uniqlo coat. It's warm and it's wool and so it just flowed very beautifully with the rest of the outfit and I just love the look of the pants on the like what you can see outside of the coat it just looks really beautiful it's just the right width too that makes sense for the coat and all together like you can't really see much of my outfit underneath and I just like that there's like some mystery there but there's still plenty of layers and lots going on and then I wanna add my scarf. This is going to um, be a trick that I use like every single day where I have that long scarf that's going to increase the long lengthening appeal of an outfit. And then also I can just you know wrap it up if I feel extra cold. Um, this is something I love to just be cozy with too without a jacket. So when I was sitting down earlier, like it was just so nice to you know go without the jacket and just sort of wrap this up and you know, it's just, like a little security blanket. <laughs> but I just love the look of it. It makes the lapel sort of stand out a little bit more. To add one piece that isn't black, I wanted to add a hat that, this this is like a really pretty like ivory tone. And so adding a little beanie with that outfit, I just like the look of that a lot. Anytime I can wear a beanie, I just feel like it makes an outfit look completely different. Gives it more of just this edgy appeal. A little bit more casual too, and I really don't mind that at all, especially since this can look a bit like I'm wearing a dress underneath and just making it more feeling casual for everyday wear is something that I love. And then you guys know I love my everyday test bag and that just really shines compared to the rest of my outfit where I've got gold jewelry on. So that repeats there. And then that just brings in a little bit more of a, a class and elegance to the rest of the outfit. So balancing those casual pieces with those like upscale or even formal pieces um, is what I'm doing with this outfit. So it's chic, it's understated, it's not too gaudy and it's just really comfortable and makes sense for going out. And that's it for the week of outfits. And if you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and I can keep posting these probably every couple weeks or so seems to make sense right now. So yeah, I will see you guys next time. Bye.